Hello, Cherries. Welcome to live Jerry Cherry Sunday special Thursday episode 105. Sorry, I'm late. I'm like two minutes late here. <laughs> and in this video, I'm going to teach you modal interchange and how to borrow chords from parallel minor modes. And, you know, playing in one key could be pretty boring because there's only seven chords in a key and uh, it could sound very vanilla after a while and um you know modal interchange can actually help you bring in some extra chords that you might not have thought of and uh it's really interesting and um it can really um expand your your songwriting and um your chord progressions for improvisation so it's really cool so I'm gonna show you how to do that and first thing I'm gonna do is go over to this come right here and I didn't have really much time to uh, chart this out. <laughs> I'd make a proper graph. But basically, if you look at this right here, you'll see that the top row is the major scale, basically. And those are the seven chords of E major. You have the one chord, which is E. You have the two chord, which is F sharp minor. Sorry, I didn't indicate that that was minor. It's F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor, and a D half diminished, D sharp half diminished. Back to the E again. Okay. And then I lined up all of the other modes right below it. As you can see, the Aeolian mode is the one that's right underneath it. Hello, Ozman. Good morning. Good afternoon. Well, it's morning for you. Give you a round of applause. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully you could hear that applause. I couldn't hear it. Pretty low. Uh, just knocking stuff all over the place here today. Let me see why that's so low. The speaker's down really low. Okay, let's try that again. No, it's loud. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. As always, I'll put a link in the description, a time a time stamp on when the lesson starts. I want to say hello to my my man Osman right here. Cheers. Good morning to you. All right, so the first line that you have up there is the E major, basic chord, seven chords of every key. Just for, just for your FYI, that LPJ plays amazing. Yeah, I was making a Les Paul Jr. Oh, man. So happy for you. I wish I had that right now. Really, really do. I could really use one, believe it or not. I'll tell you about it later. Why I need it. <laughs> need it. I need a Les Paul Jr. I don't have enough guitars. Um, Okay, so seven chords of a major key. Get key of E we're working here. Guitar players, guitar friendly key. F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor, and D sharp half diminished. Going to E. Basically sounds like this. I can never hit this chord. That's why. Okay, seven chords are a major key. Now we're gonna play parallel modes. So basically I'm gonna take, it's like a parallel minor. So you can see the next line down is Aeolian, which is the relative minor. Aeolian is basically a relative minor of, you know, of the major. But we're going to play parallel, so we're going to play E Aeolian, which you have E minor, then you have an F sharp, half diminished, then you have a G, you have an A minor, a B minor, a C, and a D. Now, why do you have those chords? Because basically, E minor is really just the key of G. Right? I'm sure you've done that before a million times. We're like E, back to G. 
Okay, so that row of chords is basically just the the G major scale. If you start on the third note there, G of the E Aeolian, you'll see G, A, B minor, C, D, E, F sharp have diminished. So that's basically just like how I play this right here, E, F sharp. I did the same thing in G, it would sound like this. It's the same thing, but I'm starting on the E. So what's cool about that, that parallel, is that I could take a chord progression, say like if, if I'm an E major, I could take the E to a sixth chord to a C sharp minor, to an A, to a B. I'm sure you've heard that progression a million times, a one, six, four, five. Let me just tune this thing real quick. Okay. So instead of playing those boring four chords like that, I can go ahead and borrow chords from the second row. Instead of playing a one, six, four, five, which in the key of E is E, C sharp minor, A and B, let's take the chord, let's take the six from the second row, which is the um, Aeolian mode, and it would be a C chord instead of a C sharp. And then the four and five would be an A minor and a B sharp. Actually, no, we'll just, we'll go back to E major. We'll just borrow one chord. Sorry, to keep it simple. And um, so it's going to be an E. Then we're going to take the sixth chord from the Aeolian, which is the C. Then we're going to go back to major and just hit A and B. So it's more like this. <laughs> go ahead and borrow instead of the sixth chord we could borrow the three chord of the aeolian so it would be an e and g and then back to the a the b can't seem to get in tune here right now Keep trying. We just keep tuning till we get it in tune, right? Okay. Okay. Close enough for rock and roll. <laughs> That's another progression, so that's pretty interesting right there. Then, um, you know, we could do the same thing with, with Dorian. Okay, so we could see what's different about that, and we could hit a, um, you know, we could play the same thing. We could play a, an E for the one chord. Then we can go down to the, um, we could play a C sharp, half diminished. Back to a three chord of the Dorian. And then go back to E major and hit the four chord and five chord of E major. So that's pretty cool too. And if we did that same method with Phrygian, we could play, so we could play the, the one chord of E major, we could play the uh, five chord, or no, the sixth chord of Phrygian, which is the C, we could 
could play a G. Then we could play an A minor and a B half diminished. Back to an E major. That doesn't really sound all that great, but but technically it works. But it's not all about what technically works, it's more, more about like what you like, what sounds good. So what sounds good is good, right? <laughs> so, all right. If you're enjoying this video, please tap the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. I go live here every Sunday, except uh, today we're doing Thursday because I couldn't do last Sunday. So, all right. So I basically have a, um, a progression here that I looped. It's in uh, the first one. I think it's a E, C sharp minor. Go ahead and just play the E major scale of this whole thing. man okay so borrowing from these modes would you solo over them different over them different keys or the same key basically they're they're changing keys and then you're you're resolving back to the original key in this case like what i just played was basically a one six four five progression of e just for starters so i could you know we can go from there but if I did something different, like uh, this, this extra, this next progression, I think I did something, I'm trying to remember what I did here. It's a, a C. Yeah. So for an Aeolian or a parallel minor, you're basically essentially switching keys temporarily. So the first chord I hit was an E, then I hit a C, which is the sixth chord of E. Now, as you can see in that second line right there, of the second row, which is Aeolian, the six of Aeolian is a C, whereas the six of the major was a C sharp minor. I didn't indicate, oh, you can't, I did indicate, it, you just can't see it too well in there, C sharp minor. So two different, totally different chords. In E, you have C sharp minor, and on the Aeolian, you have a C. So you're changing a note, basically, right there, from C sharp to C. And then I went to um, to a G, which is the three chord of E Aeolian. And then I went to um, to a C to a D. So essentially, I stayed in E Aeolian. Hello, David Belcher. Great to see you. Good morning. So I'm playing the first bar in E major. When it goes to that C chord, I'm switching to I'm switching to A minor. Right there. Then it's going to G. And I'm still in A E minor. C. Back to E major. Right there. So over this progression. Sorry about that. It's not what I wanted. Let's see, it's this this progression. Let's see if this works. There it is. G C D E major C. So E Aeolian, 
We have the C chord, the 6 chord, the G, the 3 chord, and then the C and a D, which is a 6-7. with E major and I E minor. And back to major right there. We're on the C chord, I'm switching. I'm playing E major for the first chord, one, and then I'm playing E minor for the remainder because I'm switching from E major to E minor Aeolian mode. So it's an interesting way to just switch keys basically because when I switch, because E Aeolian is in the key of G. So technically I'm switching from the key of E major to the key of G major. Because G major and E minor are the same thing. Hopefully you understand that. And you're catching that. Sounds a little confusing. And, and uh, I don't have any real graphs to really kind of show you what I'm doing exactly. But, you know, I have a, um, a video on three notes per string and uh, on parallel minor. And I'll, I'll link it in the description. And... I'm, I'm also, I'll make a PDF of what I'm talking about and I'll, uh, I'll email it to you. Just email me at info at Jerry Cherry and I'll send you that and hopefully that clears up a few things. But basically, if I, if I play three notes per string, E major scale, it looks like this. And I'll show you right here in this close-up. E major. I'm just changing one note instead of playing I'm switching it to a G instead of a G sharp actually I'm switching a few notes sorry I'm playing the E minor like that so that's E minor here's E major That was E major. Here's E minor. And in the same position, I'm, I'm going to stay in this one position, and we'll go ahead and play that, that uh, progression right here. E major. Now it's an E minor. Be quick because it's only just a one, two, just a measure of the focus of mine. So I'll start off on the major note, the minor. Major, I found the minor scale. Major, got back to minor.
get some of that. Back over here for a sec. All right, so essentially we're switching keys and we're having a good time doing it, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure we'll be able to get to all these modes today, but um, let's get on to the third one here, Dorian. And as you can see, you have more keys, to, more chords to choose from. Whereas if you are in E major, you have the basic chords here. We just went over a few times already. And let's see, what do we have? What's different? That's kind of the, the cool thing to look at. As you notice, well, what chords are different than your basic E major chords? And right off the bat, I see that um, you have a B minor in there. That five chord in Dorian is B minor, where in E, it's a B major. And that's very useful. So definitely uh, utilize that. Like if we were to do it the same, a similar progression, you know, one, six, four, five progression, we could take the, uh, the one chord from E major. The sixth chord is different because it's a C half diminished chord. So right there, so now you have another chord we could incorporate into a progression. It's pretty cool sounding right there. This chord right here is basically just an inversion. This C sharp dimi half diminished. It's basically an A7 chord. Only starting on the C sharp. But if I went from an E major to a C sharp dim half diminished, I could also go to a G as well. Which shows that it's minor now, it's E minor, because you have the G note. And then a 4 5 would be an A, B, minor. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I created this progression carefully or correctly. And if I was to switch to this mode to a, to a Dorian, you could play three notes per string on E. Then go to Dorian, which would be like this. sharp here you have the C sharp okay. B minor. Let's see if I have that progression correctly five I made these pretty quickly today and I think I messed up on one of them but here's the progression Back to that, that's what it did. You know what I'm do? I'm gonna make a backing track real quick right here in front of you. I'm gonna clear this out. And watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play an E, C sharp, half diminished, G, an A, B minor, back to E. Let's see what this sounds like. Hard to get to that chord. Here we go. Okay. It didn't clear out. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have an E. I have to manage the G. A, B minor. So major 
Then you go to the Dorian mode right there. get it. That's getting into the Dorian mode. So I have that correct now. And let's do one more here. We'll do the uh, Phrygian. Do a, a Phrygian progression. Now what's interesting about Phrygian here? We're getting warmed up now. <laughs> and let's see. What's cool about this? Well, check this out. I mean, you have Right off the bat, your five chord of this is a B half diminished. So you're going from a E major <laughs> to, a, to a B half diminished chord. Why is this? Because Phrygian, really E Phrygian, is the key of C. So whenever I think of this, you're really just, it's, it's another key change, C, and a three chord of C. It's a Phrygian. So, five, one, two, three, four, five, it's a B, half diminished, which would go into a C, okay? But if we did the same type of progression where we hit the one, six, four, five, we could hit an E major, play a C, the G, A minor, B half diminished, B major. Hello, Bill Doob. So good to see you. It's been a while. Let's give you a round of applause. Now, it's definitely a weird progression here. Go from E, C, to G. Go to A minor. Or I can go. Let's see what I came up with here for this progression. I think I did a... Uh, Five, six, seven, eight. What did I do here? I can't remember what I did. With an E, C, G. G. 
it did hit it. <laughs> it's bizarre sounding, right? So this gives me the opportunity to play E major and E Phrygian. Let's try it out and see what happens. Some of these don't really sound too great, but it's, the possibilities are there, you know? To do modal interchange. Got to split. All right, Ozman. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time for sure. Sunday, I'll be back. Normal Sunday at 12 o'clock. So hopefully you got something out of this. And lots of weird stuff here, but lots of combinations. You know, it doesn't have to be so weird. R really, what I want to do is is take it from, you know, E Aeolian and not really from the major because, you know, you might be playing E minor. A basic E minor progression. E minor to an A minor. How do I change that? Well, you can go from E minor. Then you could play an E. To, I mean, a regular E major chord. I get this in tune. sharp very weird okay all right never weird <laughs> So, it's just a way to spice up your progressions. A way to tune your guitar. We have to do a whole 
video and just tuning your guitar. Just a change of temperatures. Uh, never weird. <laughs> Go from A minor to a uh, say A E minor. It is to an A minor chord. B minor. C. D. If you want to get really weird, like Bill Dube was saying, you can switch to a Locrian mode, which would be my two chord have an F there, which that's the one rarity. If you look at the last line down, you see E half diminished Locrian right there. You can go to an F chord. Or you can go from an E minor to G minor. How weird is that? And then back to E minor by playing a C. And e Something like that's pretty interesting. Let's see what that sounds like. Let me make a progression out of it. Just do a little drum riff, drum fill right here. If I went like a... It's a little, a little too fast for that. I just do like something like this. Like a... I think that's a good tempo. Something like a... Do like a... minor to a G minor to C to D Oh, 
All right. We're going to wrap it up right there. That's enough weirdness for the day. Get back to here. All right. Bill Duke got a jet. Can't record and watch at the same time. All right. Well, thank you for popping in, Bill. Great to see you. And thank you very much for tuning in, for checking out the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. All that groovy stuff. And hopefully you got something out of this. Just um, if you want a PDF of what I outlined today, along with some scales that go along with it, you know, just email me at info at jerrycherry.com. Um, any questions about what we went over today, just let me know in the comment section. Any ideas for any future videos, please let me know. That would be great. I go live every week. I'll be going live Sunday, this Sunday, at 12 o'clock. Hopefully I'll see you there. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about borrowing chords from parallel mode on major keys, check out a video right there. Until next time, be cool, be kind, and be cherry. Love yous. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Ciao.